Stephen Shurrock, what's Telefonica's strategy for providing OTT services? I think the core thing for us is to make sure that we develop our communication services as our customers' needs change. And we think, and we have already seen, our customers' needs changing in terms of communication. So that's the core thing about what we're doing. I mean, we've talked today about two new consumer offerings, one which we've already developed and deployed, to me, uh, which we're delighted with the take-up from customers, and another which will come towards the end of the year to go. Uh, both very different propositions. Um, to me is an app-to-app -app proposition that allows customers to communicate in five different ways, um, but it's app-to-app, -app, and therefore it's a global service that customers can use. Tugo very different. Tugo is an extension of my phone service, and really that's about making the best of the phone service that we have today and coupling it with the best of the internet. So your phone, your phone becomes an app, and that app works anywhere, across yeah. any device. Services like WhatsApp have proved very popular, so is it a case of your customers asking you for similar OTT services, or is it a case of you responding to the changes in the market? Like, like many, like many uh, telcos, we, we've seen our customers having, starting to have a more fragmented experience, I think. Uh, and, and the key thing for us is make sure that we build some propositions that sit in that space. So with To Me, for example, what we are doing is we've got a great user forum. And that's to help customers with any service issues they might have. But it's also for customers to feed back to us in terms of where they think they would like this service to go forward. So we've got really, really good engagement with customers, actually, already, even though the service has only been going for seven or eight weeks. The engagement is really, really strong. Now, you should expect to see us continue to innovate and offer new products through To Me. And we're very aware we could take that into new areas, and we absolutely will do so in the future. When it comes to creating and delivering OTT-type services, where do you draw the line between giving the customer what he or she may want and, at the same time, not jeopardising traditional revenue streams? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's important for us to take a step back and think, how, how will the commercialisation change? And I, and I think, you know, in my mind, we've already started to see that, actually, in some countries where it's moving from a more voice-centric type commercialisation into a much more data and IP type commercialisation. So uh, I understand that trend in terms of where that's going to. I think what, that, what, what with LTE and with, the, the, with, with that future, what that does bring is an opportunity to have much richer communications experiences and that's what we want to focus on building is building products that start to take customers on that journey so we think it's important to focus on the products focus on the customer experience that we give there and of course the commercialization will change over time as we go forward are your OTT services closely aligned with the cloud I think I, th I think at the moment it, it we're, we're doing a mixture of things actually and and who knows where those customer trends will go to but I think what's important is to listen to what your customers are telling you try to develop services and work with them to take those take those on. I mean, with Two Go, you know, we've got very strong feedback from user forums already uh, when we've started to talk to them about how we want to develop this service. And you know, two bits of strong feedback are: it's really great that that service goes across the different devices I have, but also that if I happen to be sitting and I, I want to use it on Wi-Fi, I can still use it and have all the functionality that my that my phone service has. But I can have it over Wi-Fi, perhaps over a tablet. Do you have to wait for industry-wide acceptance of new OTT-type services, or is there no time for that? Do you have to go it alone and break rank? Yeah, I mean, you know, in, ter in terms of OTT and in terms of some of the things we want to bring, you know, we, we talked today about the timeline, which we think is very important, so the customers can go back, have a look at the photos that they shared, have a look at those chat conversations that they might have had. And of course, all of that is stored in the cloud, um, and, and, and we think that's an important part of this, uh, of this service as we go forward, is making sure we store those experiences for our customers and they can access them easily. Stephen Shurrock, thanks very much.